The U.S. Marine Corps has successfully conducted a test firing of the Navy Strike Missile, or NSM, from their newly developed ship killer weapon system. This unmanned coastal missile system, referred to as the Navy Marine Expeditionary Ship Interdiction System, or NMESIS, has demonstrated its capabilities in the test conducted at Naval Air Station Point Mugu, California, on June 28. This system utilizes a Kongsberg-made NSM, launched from a remotely operated Joint Light Tactical Vehicle. The integration of the NSM onto the unmanned Joint Light Tactical Vehicle represents a significant advancement in the Marine Corps' efforts to enhance their anti-ship warfare capabilities. This also marks the second Enemesis test fire disclosed by the USMC in the past two years, with the previous test occurring during the U.S. Navy's large-scale exercise in Hawaii in August 2021. So what exactly is the NMESIS? Why does the Marine Corps prioritize its swift deployment to field Marines? And how does this system align with broader military strategies? Essentially, NMESIS is a rapid deployment achieved by merging several well-established and proven subsystems, including the proven anti-ship naval strike missile from Kongsberg, a remotely operated control system named Rogue Fires, and the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle chassis as its foundation. The successful test of NSM from NMESIS was conducted by Fox Battery, 2nd Battalion, 11th Marine Regiment, 1st Marine Division. The NSM used for NMESIS is distinguished by its stealthy design and impressive capabilities, enabling it to overcome shipboard defenses effectively. Measuring 13 feet in length, the NSM is designed to carry a 300-pound high-explosive fragmentation warhead. With a launch weight of 900 pounds, the missile can be deployed from a range of platforms against various targets. Employing passive homing, the missile boasts a remarkable range of approximately 100 to 115 miles and travels in a sea skimming mode. It employs advanced terminal maneuvers with an extremely low signature during the terminal phase to evade enemy air defenses effectively. What makes the NSM even more attractive is its popularity due to its accuracy, simplicity, and versatility. For target detection and discrimination, the missile relies on GPS-aided mid-course guidance and utilizes a dual-band imaging infrared seeker. The seeker's autonomous target recognition ensures precise detection and striking of both sea and land-based targets. This ground-based system also offers the capability to engage multiple targets simultaneously and perform over-the-horizon targeting. To detonate the missile's warhead, a programmable fuse is employed, providing versatility in strike scenarios. Comprising essential components, the system includes the NSM Launcher Fire Unit, a fire control center, battle management command, control, communication, computers, and information. Its launcher can be easily mounted on various platforms, whether it be a ship or a truck making it a flexible and adaptable weapon system for different operational needs. Besides the NSM Specially Designed Coastal Defense System, or called NSM-CDS for NMESIS as explained above, there is an air-launched variant of the NSM known as NSM-AL. It is specifically designed for deployment from helicopters and unmanned aerial systems. A typical BRU-14 bomb rack is utilized by the helicopter or UAS to launch the missile against both sea and shore targets. The NSM-AL is categorized as a fire-and-forget missile, making it capable of engaging high-value and well-defended targets effectively. The missile follows a pre-programmed flight path set before launch to ensure accurate targeting. According to John Ferrari, a former Army general and current fellow at the American Enterprise Institute with a cost of around $2 million per missile, NMESIS system incorporating the NSM provides the Marines with a potent and cost-effective tool to bolster their capabilities in sea-based warfare, especially for their scoot-and-shoot strategy. While undergoing testing, NMESIS remains on track for delivery to the 3rd Marine Littoral Regiment in Hawaii by the end of fiscal 2023, according to Ashley M. Kalingo, a spokesperson for Marine Corps Systems Command. The concept of the Marine Littoral Regiment is a component of Marine Corps Commandant General David Berger's Force Design 2030 strategy. This strategy is aimed at creating a more agile and expeditionary Marine Corps capable of successfully countering China in a potential conflict. Staff Sergeant Derek Reddy, NMESIS team lead, 
emphasized that NMESIS is a pivotal weapon system in the USMC's modernization plan, aligning with their concept of expeditionary advanced basing operations. The Marine Corps' expeditionary advanced basing operations concept involves deploying Marines across the battlefield and swiftly establishing small bases that also serve as NMESIS launch points. This capability enhances sea denial and control, filling a significant gap as the U.S. lacked a land-based anti-ship weapon before NMESIS. Therefore, for the Marines, the successful trial marks a significant advancement for NMESIS to support the pivot to the Pacific, aiming to restrict the Chinese Navy within the first or second island chain. Stacy Pettyjohn, the director of the defense program at the Center for a New American Security Think Tank in Washington, D.C., stated that in a scenario where the U.S. needed to defend Japan from China's Navy, Marines from littoral regiments could be deployed to remote Pacific islands. From these locations, they could utilize NMESIS to target Chinese ships. However, Ferrari noted that while NMESIS aligns with the Commandant's vision for the future, its relevance to the broader Indo-Pacific strategy of the Pentagon remains uncertain. Although NMESIS is assembled from established technology, making its overall costs likely lower than most new weapon systems, the Marine Corps has always faced budget constraints which are expected to persist. The latest budget request includes $28 million for research and development of NNMESIS, following previous allocations of $42 million in fiscal year 2020 and $25 million in fiscal year 21. Moreover, while the NSM for NMESIS could still be useful in certain scenarios, it may not present a significant threat to larger and more distant targets, like a Chinese aircraft carrier battle group. To address this issue, therefore, the Marines are exploring the possibility of adopting a ground-launched version of the Navy's classic Tomahawk cruise missile. A standard Tomahawk cruise missile weighs around 3,000 pounds, with approximately one-third of this weight is attributed to the warhead. The latest variant, the Block 5 Tomahawk, can have a range of up to 1,000 miles and employs a sophisticated multi-mode seeker that combines radar and infrared sensors to precisely target enemy ships. The Marine Corps made a request for Tomahawk cruise missiles in their 2021 budget, but it was denied by Congress. However, in the 2022 budget, the Corps included 48 Tomahawks in their unfunded requirements list indicating their continued interest in acquiring these missiles. So what do you think on this matter? That's all, thanks for watching.